Capitol Hill has taken a step to ensure all married couples will continue to be recognized in every state. After weeks of bipartisan negotiations, Malik Rankin explains how the Senate voted to protect interracial and same-sex couples on the federal level. Today, the Respect for Marriage Act was approved by the Senate. Concerns grew after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade this summer. The Supreme Court was able to reverse that decision because the law was not codified. So the bill, as amended, has passed. Lawmakers are working to make same-sex and interracial marriages an irreversible federal law. In a rare show of bipartisanship, several Republicans joined Democrats in passing the landmark bill. Both Florida Senators Marco Rubio and Rick Scott voted against the bill. Equality Florida reports about 8 to 10 percent of Floridians identify as LGBTQ. The organization says this vote is a big step in the right direction. Yeah, not only do policies matter, but, but words really matter as well. It matters that we have a bipartisan vote in the United States Senate. It's hard to get senators to vote together on just about anything, but they came together to say out loud that LGBTQ people are a value, that our relationships matter, and that they deserve to be treated with the dignity and respect that everyone else gets. The Respect for Marriage Act would prevent same-sex couples from being excluded from Social Security survivor benefits, as well as the ability to sponsor a spouse for citizenship. The Senate-passed bill now goes to the House for passage before going to the White House for President Biden's signature. In studio, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Democrats are trying to get other measures through in the lame duck session, including an election reforms package. The new Congress convenes in January with Republicans in control of the House and Democrats in control of the Senate.